orienting and onboarding new employees. Carefully selecting employees doesn't guarantee they'll perform effectively. Even high potential employees can't do their jobs if they don't know what to do or how to do it. Making sure your employees do know what to do and how to do it is the purpose of orientation and training. The Human Resources Department usually designs the company's orientation and training programs, but it is the supervisor who needs to implement it. He or she does most of the day-to-day -day orienting and training. Every manager therefore needs to know how to orient and train employees. The Purposes of Employee Orientation and Onboarding Employee orientation, or onboarding, involves more than what most people realize. Employee orientation provides new employees with the information they need to function, such as computer passwords and company rules, ideally though, it should also help new employees start getting emotionally attached to the firm. Employee orientation should ideally accomplish the following four objectives. 1. Make the new employee feel welcome and at home and part of the team. 2. Make sure the new employee has the basic information to function effectively, such as email access, personnel policies, and benefits and what the employer expects in terms of work behavior. 3. Help the new employee understand the organization in a broad sense, its past, present, culture, and strategies and vision of the future. And, 4. Start the person on becoming socialized into the firm's culture, values, and ways of doing things. Getting the new employee to appreciate the company's culture and values distinguishes today's onboarding programs from traditional orientation. The Orientation Process The length of the orientation program will depends on what the organization or you as the HR manager intend to cover. Traditional orientation programs take several hours. The Human Resource Specialist, or in smaller firms, the office manager, usually performs the first part of the orientation by explaining basic matters like working hours, benefits, and vacations. That person then introduces the new employee to his or her new supervisor. The supervisor continues the orientation by explaining the organization of the department and by introducing the person to his or her new colleagues familiarizing the new employee with the workplace, and helping to reduce first-day jitters. Supervisors need to be vigilant. They should follow up on and encourage new employees to engage in activities, such as taking breaks with current employees, that will enable each to learn the ropes and become productive. In firms like Toyota Motor, orientations take up to a week. These may include videos, lectures by company officers, and exercises covering matters like company history, vision, and values. At a minimum, an orientation typically includes information on employee benefits, personnel policies, the daily routine, company organization, and operations, safety measures and regulations, and a facilities tour. New employees should receive, and sign for, print or internet-based employee handbooks covering these matters. The Employee Handbook Note that under certain conditions, courts may find that the employee handbook's contents represent legally binding employment commitments. Therefore, employers often include disclaimers. These make it clear that statements of company policies, benefits, and regulations do not constitute the terms and conditions of an employment contract, either expressed or implied. Also, employers generally should not insert statements such as no employee will be fired without just cause or statements that imply or state that employees have tenure. Indeed, 
it's best to emphasize that the employment relationship is strictly at will. Orientation Technology Employers use technology to support orientation. For example, some employers put all, or some of their orientation media on the web. IBM uses virtual environments like Second Life to support orientation, particularly for employees abroad. The new employees choose virtual avatars, which then interact with other company avatars, for instance to learn how to enroll for benefits. There are also online onboarding portal solutions that offer streaming video welcome message. New hires can view things like photos and profiles of members of their work teams. With Workday's iPhone app, employers can provide their employees easy mobile access to their employee directories. Users can search their company's worker directory for names, images, and contact information, call or email co-workers directly, and view physical addresses on Google Maps. Onboarding is the perfect opportunity to make a positive, lasting impression on a new hire. It really is the honeymoon phase for new employees. They've just agreed to come and work for the company, and they are prepared to be wowed. But the employer must deliver. A study by analyst firm Aberdeen Group found that 86% of respondents felt that a new hire's decision to stay with a company long-term is made within the first six months of employment. That requires a great first impression. An awesome onboarding process can contribute to that.